This is a shape that's instantly recognizable to millions of gamers around the world. It's a PlayStation controller, but not just any PlayStation controller. This is one for the PlayStation 3, where, similar to the Xbox 360, we're now able to turn on the PlayStation 3 from the actual controller itself. What really makes the PlayStation controllers great is the, just the way that they sit in your hand. They just they fit right in there. They're very easy to play for long periods of time. Uh, the buttons are just in a perfect location. And I really I really like having the the analog sticks down here rather than up here. I think it's just an easier spot to move your thumb. And then you have the digital pad up here for for playing older games or PlayStation One games. If you're using the PS3 to play your PlayStation One games. Uh, you know, the L1 and L2 and R1 and R2 are still there, except now we do have these these triggers, uh, which I don't care for, to be honest with you. I find the control, or the way that your hand fits on the control, if you try to use these triggers in a driving game, your finger slips right off of them, or at least mine does. Uh, I prefer to still use the, the buttons. The buttons have variable sensitivity, so depending on how hard you push them, uh, that changes how how much gas you're giving your car in Gran Turismo and other games use it in uh, different ways. The digital pad, as we're familiar with from the all the way back to the PlayStation 1, is still here and still an excellent pad. They always use a nice, I don't know if you can see that here, get the focus adjusted, just a nice little textured surface on their buttons that makes it very comfortable and also practical for long periods of gaming. Your thumb doesn't just go flying right off the controls. They use a similar technique, a little rubbery surface on their analog sticks, which also just has a very nice feel on the thumb, very easy to play with. These are definitely some of the best analog thumb sticks on any controllers out there. They're just uh, easy to move, easy to play with, just uh, good positioning. Can't beat them. Start, select, pretty obvious. Just in case you forgot who made the controller, it uh, reminds you. It's a lighter controller than what you're used to with the PlayStation 2 since there's no rumble function in this particular model. Uh, that's right, they call it the 6-axis controller, I always forget that. And you charge it there with a the USB cable into the PlayStation 3, so it's totally rechargeable and wireless. And being that it is the 6-axis controller, you can fly your ship in Warhawk like that if you want to, but I still prefer just to use the actual button controls. So, PlayStation 3 controller, uh, it's just tremendous. And uh, let's see how it works with the dog. Will the PS3 six-axis controller control a dog? Down, sit, beg, sit. Yeah, works pretty well. Bark. Bark. Um, accelerate. Nah, not that well. Have a cookie.